when we are saying may their soul rest in peace tonight because veteran politician and former cabinet minister Simeon Yachai was today laid to rest at his home in Nyosia village that's in Kisi County in an event devoid of the usual hard-hitting politics as Murimi Mwangi reports from Kisi the ceremony also came with a basket of goodies for the countries or the county's residents Gusi Stadium playing host to last show of respect for veteran politician and longtime Gusi Kingpin, the late Simeon Nyachai. He was an honest man and a man of dignity. And without doubt, he was a disciplinarian. But not only in disciplining others, but the discipline within which he carried himself. Nyachai is somebody who was schooled in the tradition of the British civil service which basically promotes excellency. We equally celebrate a great patriotic Kenyan, a consummate administrator and public servant. Best remembered for his long career in the civil service, Nyechae had over the years risen through the ranks of the provincial administration before eventually joining government as cabinet minister in charge of such dockets as agriculture, energy and even finance. At one point, under retired president the late Daniel Arap Moy, Nyechae served in the powerful post of chief minister. When he was chief secretary and he called a PC or permanent secretary, even though he's not in that room with the PS or the PC, it is rumored that the PC would stand. Zenyachai then was the chief secretary, so it's the one who was to swear me in as perhaps the youngest assistant minister. But I didn't know that, uh, Your Excellency, to go to State House, you don't drive pickups there. So I drove myself in a pickup. We will miss him. And he was a loving father. I remember when you used to come home, what struck you was his sternness. I've heard that he was a disciplinarian, that he was, but his intelligence and his quiet intelligence and his loyalty. Nyechae also unsuccessfully contested for presidency in 2002. But it was not just politics that Nyechae doubled in. The veteran politician and astute businessman loved culture and a bit of fun. You always reminded us to acknowledge God's blessings and you, in turn, shared those blessings widely. He would actually get us to get suits, proper suits like the one I'm wearing. But uh, after Charles left, and I didn't do very well in school, Nikambio Sasa to me reduce to counter suit. And in those days, counter suits for us who are wearing platforms and uh, flares just didn't work. And in his honor, President Uhuru Kenyatta also had some goodies for residents. To fortify our appreciation of this great son of Kenya, as a government, we have considered it fit to rename this stadium the Simeon Yachai Stadium Kisi. And with Nyachae's exit lies a huge political void in Gusi politics as his political students struggle to fit in his shoes. Murumi Mwangi, KTN News, in Kisi. And even as the funeral ceremony for the late Nyachae got underway, the Monday morning riots were marked with drama as Kisi Deputy Governor Joash Mangi and South Mugirango Member of Parliament Silvanu Sosoro were arrested by police on claims that they were planning to cause chaos during that event. Katie's Duncan Haimba has more details on the event that saw the DP's allies spend the better part of the day behind bars. <laughs> Gusi Stadium early Monday morning. From this ensuing scaffold, you would be forgiven for thinking that a thief had been caught red-handed. But that was not the case. It was youthful South Mugirango member of parliament, Silvana Sosoro, who found himself on the wrong side of the law for the second time in a month when police officers pounced on him at the Gusi Stadium the moment he arrived for the Nyachai burial. Following security laps early in the month that saw MPs Osoro and Simba Arati engage in a fight few meters from where the deputy president 
and ODM leader Raila Odinga were seated. This time round, hawk-eyed police officers, including the paramilitary, were leaving nothing to chance, and as soon as he arrived, they rounded him up and took him to Keroka police station. Earlier on, Kisi Deputy Governor Joash Maangi, another close ally of the Deputy President, had been arrested at Kisi High, where he had gone to receive DP Ruto and was taken to Kisi Central Police Station. And then I had to leave, you know, uh, in the company of officers. I don't know the reason, but I guess it's normal, you know, uh, politics or normal questioning. The two were arrested barely a day after another Tanga Tanga coordinator, former Kisi town mayor and some youth were picked up by the police, with sources within police ranks indicating the arrests were made after intelligence reports linked them to planned chaos at the Nyachai burial. You know, your case could be as good as mine. The deputy governor is arrested, I am arrested, uh, Omwanda is arrested. Your case is as good as mine. The arrests, perhaps the strongest message yet to the deputy president, William Ruto, whose political relationship with the president is said to be irreparably damaged with the head of state asking Ruto to resign from government. Duncan Hemba, KTN News.